Hi guys, in this tutorial we're going to build a JavaFX typing game. So let's just go into it, I guess. Um, package, it's called typing. Yeah, let's go with that. Typing game app. There we go. We're going to use plain JavaFX. Um, the version doesn't really matter, so depending on how your setup works, as long as you have JavaFX working, that's fine. Um, the idea for this game is you have you display a word to the user. The user types out the word um, using their keyboard. Um, once all the letters are typed in the correct order, you have the next word and that repeats. So basic typing game essentially. And as per usual, I'm going to build the foundation for it and I'll leave View the other bits, um, so things like extensions and so on, which I'll also talk about. All right, first of all, let's get something uh, going. I'm going to use stack pane for the root because I want my word to be centered. Um, can I set the preferred width size? Yeah, cool. 800 by 600 should do. Stage set scene create content. There we go. Wow, that's taking a while. I guess it's rebuilding other projects. Um, okay, well, doesn't matter. It's almost done. So we've got our window up and that's what we wanted to have. <clears throat> right, uh, what do we need? No, I actually do need this. Uh, I need some kind of a word selector. So let's go with word selector. I'm going for the sort of quickest approach. So things like good, good software design is pretty much out of the window. And um, I'm going to represent words as strings. So get Next word, how about that? And then it's going to return something from this array of words. So immediately here you can see an extension, um, load this from a file. So you can have a pre-generated list of words stored somewhere in a file, load that into this array, and then just return a random one. Um, words math dot random which returns something between zero and one so if I multiply this by words length and then type cast it to int that should give me a random um, index into this array which is still valid now the issue with this it, it can return the same word twice or more um, filter words that have been used there you go another extension for you uh, I need some words word um, selector actually no I'm going to get rid of the case so we're going to use um, compile uh, integrated development Argument. Yeah, that's a good selection. Okay, so I've got this. Um, I can create the word selector here. That will do. Now I need some kind of a function that gives me um, show next word, something like that. What are we going to do here? Well, we need a word, the next word, the selector next word and then do something with the word um, so we need to put it on the screen which means we need this um, we need a view uh, for the word let's call it uh, let's put it into a different class called word view which takes a string um, and 
then does something with it. So the way I'm thinking is we're going to um, disable or make invisible each letter that the user already got. So which means we need to represent each letter as a separate text object. In which case it's word. Um, let's go with um, character, word, char array, to uppercase, and then char array. I want everything in uppercase. And then we're going to create a text object. Make sure to import the correct text, the JavaFX one. <coughs> New text. Uh, there you go. That's how you convert to a string. Alternatively, character dot string will also do. So this is not a node, which means I need to make it into one. Let's go with uh, horizontal box. That's a good layout because the letters are positioned in a horizontal layout, right? So get children, add text, which is basically a letter. <clears throat> that's that. I also want a really big font because that's pretty much the only thing that's going to be on the screen. That's good enough, I think. So we're going to turn this into a view, new word view, word. That then goes to our root, not add set because we don't. We want to replace the ones uh, the word that already. Um, exists there. Okay, so I can just call show next word theoretically. Okay, right. Um, why is it there though? Because that's stack pane. Is it not centered by default? Stack pane alignment. Uh, alignment. Get alignment. By default, it, it is in there, so um, it's from there. Is it because this is positioned in a weird way? Let's set alignment position center. There we go. That's what I wanted. Um, still not big enough. The font should really be big. Let's go with that. Yeah, um, it's probably too big now. That it'll do. Can okay, I suppose resize it as needed? Right. So that's that. I now need some kind of a key press thing handler. Uh, handle key press. And then we're going to pass in the letter that was pressed. And then we can check that letter against the ones that we have. So I need to store the word somewhere, probably. Um, letters, how about that? And then that could be the letters. And we'll use that here. Cool. Right, um, what do I want to do now? We need to keep track of um, correct letters. So how many letters that were um, correctly identified. By default, it's zero at the start. So we're checking against the first letter, which is index zero, so that's correct. If, um, let's add another function. It says is finished because I don't want to go over the array length. Return correct letters identified is the same as the length of our array. So is if we're finished, then just return, don't do anything. Else we know we're not finished, which means we're in the um, correct index or valid index. Um, Letters, correct letters. Yeah, I mean, 
you could use a different variable but they're equivalent I think because at the start it's zero when you get to the last one it's going to be minus one and then when when we actually get it we're going to increase the layers number of layers that we got correctly which makes this happen which means it will never um, get to that point if it is of incorrect um, if it's outside the bounds that should work theoretically now we need to identify when the correct letter was pressed and then when not I'll leave this the, the not valid case um, up to you to figure out what you want to do um, incorrectly typed so that goes in here and that is letter I suppose we could do that right we also need to do something uh, with our view the views are well they're accessible from here so I just do that I think that could that could actually work get children get the same correct letters I really don't want to use the same variable for two things but because the values are equivalent I guess we could yeah that's fine for now at least set visible false so when the user correctly guesses the letter that letter disappears <clears throat> We now need to call view handle key press on key press. So I need an actual handler scene. Set on key pressed. That was nice. ID giving me the first prompt. That is what I wanted. Um, on key press I guess e get code I think is what I want or maybe just the letter to string Again, you can clean this up a little bit and uh, depending on how you want to treat each word, each letter and so on. Um, I'm kind of using a mix between a one element string and a character. All right, so we got this bit. We need access to this particular view, which is currently being shown. I don't want to store it anywhere because it's already here in the children list. And because I know that there's only one thing in there, I'm going to use this um, API, which is potentially dangerous if you don't know what's inside the scene graph. But there's only one thing, so we should be fine. View, handle, key press, the letter, and that just magically works. Um, yeah, like I said, depending on how you want to treat each letter, um, it may be worth just designing it a little bit more. But let's see if this works. So if I type F, nothing happens. If I do S, oh cool, that is really cool. Um, but it doesn't do anything because actually I need to also check the edge case development. If I press something else, it's still not doing anything, which is good, it's not crashing. That's the um, edge case that I wanted to check. As for moving on to the next one, handle key press, so by this point it's handled and I can do this if view is finished then we just move to the next word and theoretically that should just integrated in environment selector and you can see that it's just using the same words because um, of the thing that I explained early on. Okay, yeah, that's cool. Right, uh, 
this will be it for the basis of um, this small project typing game app. Uh, as for extensions, there are a couple of things that I've left out. So if the letter is incorrectly typed, then we want to do something, I guess, um, show to the user that you've typed the wrong letter. Another thing to do, which is quite significant actually, is the timing. So you want to presumably time the user saying when the show next word is called, so this is where we actually add the next word, you could um, start the timer. So something like system.nanotime, which gives you the, um, actually let's do that really quickly. Let's do that now. Long start time, yep, start time zero, start time is this. When we are done, before we show the next word, um, end time, which is that minus the start time. Start time is then reset there, so that should just continuously work for every single word. End time, uh, I'm not going to do anything with it, just print to screen. Actually, let's do print F. Um, how do you do this? Is it that? And then you pass the, the thing. Uh, remember, this is in nanoseconds, so we'll need to convert that into seconds, which is three zeros, three zeros, three more zeros. That should, that should be nine zeros. And then if it's a double, then that should be divisible just fine. And that's to two um, decimal places. Development. There we go. Two seconds to type development. Word. Word. OK. So it's kind of. Uh, it kind of works. You probably want the new line operator there. And you also probably want to actually print the word that was uh, typed and so on. Right, uh, so in this tutorial we completed a very foundational project for the Typing Game app. Uh, we looked at a couple of things that we already looked at, really, um, in previous cases. So there's nothing significantly new in this video. Um, and I've left you a couple of comments that you can use as a basis for your extensions. Thanks for watching and stay safe.